How's it going today, folks? My name's Jason, and today I'm reviewing the Abbott Armor USV-20 Vacuum Chamber Sealer. Normally you find these in professional kitchens or industrial food applications, but more and more often nowadays they're being made for home kitchens, and I think it's a great value, even at 370 bucks. Normally with uh, vacuum sealers, you can get them for around $50, but the advantage with the chamber sealer is you can seal liquids in pouches. So it's great for sous vide, it's great for keeping dry products dry and extending the life of like, I use it for grains for example, and beans, so keep them pest free and uh, air free so they don't spoil as quickly. It's great for soups, and just other types of liquid. I got some whey here from cheese that I made the other day. And I use that at, instead of water in bread because the yeast love it and just makes more flavorful bread. And hey, let's not waste it. So otherwise, we wouldn't really have anything to do with that. Maybe make a stock out of it, I don't know. Um, so yeah, in terms of construction, it's a nice little compact unit. It's got a little heavy glass lid here. Uh, a little sealer bar that's removable and replaceable. You can see that right there in the corner. That's an external accessory port. Um, pretty deep cavity here. The actual chamber is relatively small compared to like professional kitchen versions. But um, for me, for like one or two people, uh, for me, this is perfect because it works on portions that, that I use. It's great for mixing up like when I do grains or beans, I usually put it in like one pound bags or two pound bags. Um, so you got this, what is this? It's about like six by 10 bag here. And then got a slightly larger one here that, so basically you can store pretty much whatever you want. Here's some butternut squash uh, pasta sauce that I sealed and froze. Some chicken that it got sealed up nicely, helps prevent freezer burn on meat. All right, so I'm gonna weigh out some whey so it'll be uh, ready for the next time I make bread. I'm kind of aiming for, I usually hit around 80% hydration for my breads, so I'm gonna measure out exactly for my recipe, uh, it'll, which would be like, 400 grams of, of wheat. So I'll hit like you know, 320, 340 grams um, for the whey. So I can just weigh that out. And there we go. So that's in there. And this way was lit in the fridge for a couple days. So you want it as cool as possible because as the air pressure drops, it decreases the boiling point of the liquid through some form of science or magic. I'm sure there's no way to explain it. So let's take a look at how this goes. I'll show you the second camera here. Bit of a glare. So front buttons, just hit auto vac and seal. So it's pulling the air from inside the bag and inside the chamber. Start to see some foam. So it's sealing right now, and then the air will come back into the chamber and collapse the bag. That never gets old. All right. So then, yeah, there we have a nice sealed bag. So a little came out, a little boiled out over the top. That's fine, because this uh, you can clean all this out. It's still sealed up really good. 
I'm just going to label this and then stick it in the freezer. So just a real quick rundown of the front. You got the pressure gauge, you got your vacuum time, and you can change that. And you got your seal time, you can change that. I believe the vac vacuum time goes up to uh, 60 seconds and the seal time goes up to eight seconds, I believe. The default is 25 seconds for the vacuum time and four seconds for the seal time. Got a cancel button, auto vac and seal, seal, so you can just seal a bag um, without doing the vacuum. And then a mar marinate function, which uh, basically is the vacuum seal with, or it's the, the vacuum setting without the sealing setting. And you can use it to marinate meats. Um, yeah, one of the main reasons why I got this one, or there's a slightly larger version that can, with a, with a larger chamber. I like the look of this one a little bit more. I like the flat top, flat glass top. And this one has an accessory port for external accessories. So this is just a standard food saver external port accessory. So we got a food saver container right here. Just connect this. Hold down the auto vac and seal button for two seconds. And it pulled the vacuum. And you should be able to hear it. Pulls a pretty good vacuum in two seconds. So yeah. All your food saver external accessories, you can still use it. All right, now we can try the marinade function. I got some chicken thighs and some cream barbecue sauce that I'm gonna stick in there and we'll see how it, how it works. So this is gonna just go directly in. Get a little spit Press the marinade button. You should see it start to boil, even though it was refrigerated. marinade function. So now this is ready to cook. Just a quick marinade. Uh, normally this would, normally this would taste like, take like about an hour, but with the quick marinade function, 60 seconds. That's all it takes. And it's probably going to be delicious. I don't know. Well, yeah, with cream barbecue sauce, it's going to be delicious. It's really good stuff. So it's easy to clean up with the glass. It got a little bit of marinade there, but just Spray that with a little cleaner. The interior chamber is plastic, so easy to clean out. Yeah. Um, one little gripe that I do have on this in terms of design is when you have an appliance this big, let's go ahead and turn this off. The power cord should be detachable. That's my only gripe. That's like, not quite enough to drop it down from five stars to four stars, but yeah, maybe four and a half stars. Yeah, it's, it's pretty annoying. So yeah, it's, it's always better to have a, um, a cord that can disconnect so you can, uh, I just think it stores easier. So yeah, so that's the Abbott Armor USB 20 vacuum chamber sealer. I'll leave a link in the description and I will see you next time.